Right, so um, we are at Gold Valley Lakes. We're on the Syndicate Lake today. And the reason we are here, it's a Friday today, Friday afternoon. And uh, the reason we're here is on Sunday, I will be competing in my first ever freshwater fishing match. Now, Gold Valley is a very well-known fishery. You know, Will Raisin, who is the England captain and just won the European Championships of England, former world champion. Um, his, I believe his dad owns it, or him and his dad sort of run it, I think. I'm not sure exactly, um, but very famous fishery. Top anglers come to these open matches. They run them every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, Sunday's the one here on the Syndicate. So I thought, I've never actually been to this particular lake before. I have been practicing over on Gold Valley where they have the Wednesday lakes. Um, but I thought I'd better come and have a look at, at the lake for, I'm probably only here for about three hours today just to get my eye in because in a couple of days I will be in that first fishing match. And it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Most people would start, um, doing local sort of club matches for years and years really before they get to this level so I've gone in at the deep end I've had to go in the deep end because on Wednesday I've, <laughs> I've uh, entered a, a Fisher Mania qualifier at uh, Todmer so um, we are in the deep end uh, and we're probably gonna sink I'm not gonna lie but it's going to be good fun, it's going to be an experience, it's going to give you an insight, hopefully, if you've never fished a match before, to see what it's actually all about. Uh, and to see how sort of an average angler can come and have a go at the top level of match fishing. Right, hopefully, we're going to catch a few fish in the next three hours. We're going to practice some of the methods that I'm going to be using in a couple of days in the actual match. Um, we've got the pellet waggler doesn't look good for the pellet waggler today. I wanted it sort of flat, calm, um, but there's a lot of ripple in the water, a bit of wind about. Um, so I'm probably going to use the method feeder um, and we're going to be using some little wafters on a bayonet, a uh, four inch rig um, with quite a lot of sticky two mil pellets on, uh, on the feeder. And then we've got the bomb, the good old bomb fishing with either pellets well, probably we're just going to stick with using pellets today, but I have got some um, dynamite Robin Red luncheon meat. I normally just use the luncheon meat from the supermarket, but I've gone a bit, um, gone a bit posh. But I might save that for uh, the match on Sunday, actually, and I might just fish the bomb with some pellets. Uh, I've actually this morning I I cast two casts over there just to get an idea of what I was doing, and I had a bite the second cast on the method uh, and I lost the fish which um which is a bit strange because I haven't lost any fish in all my practicing so that was a bit worrying and then I fished the bomb just over here um with a pellet on and uh, I've caught a nice little mirror about five pounds so there are some fish about um hopefully we'll catch a few on this video but it's not guaranteed so here's my little setup um what we're going to be doing is we're going to be chucking a method feeder over in a little bay. I purposely picked this peg. There's a lot of open water pegs here, but I've purposely picked something to cast to because I've been practicing accuracy with the method feeder, which is so, so important. So I'm going to chuck a method over there and then I've been going to chuck a bit of um, feed over here, a bit of pallets and, and fish the bomb over here. Um, and we're going to try and catch a fish or two. Um, I'm actually going to keep track of the weight of this, which I haven't really done much in the past. Um, and I'm, I'm actually going to weigh the fish in the net roughly because I've got a guess on Sunday how much weight is in each net. So I don't go over the net limits or else you lose the whole net of fish. So I'm going to weigh each fish and see how good I am at guessing um the weight i've been doing it a little bit in the past uh, and my, my estimations are pretty good but i don't want to go over the net limit i'll be gutted if i lost a whole net of fish right let's get fishing right the time is 12 o'clock we've got three hours because me and the missus are going out with some friends later for dinner and i've been told i cannot be late it's not optional so we're going to start on the method feeder. And we're going to be casting 
fairly close, not too close to over in that little bay. Um, there is, it's quite snaggy over there, so I've come back purposely a few feet. So we're going to be using, we've got some wafters, various shapes and sizes. Yellow has been my favourite recently. I've been testing all these little flavours out recently and basically they're pretty similar results on all of them. Now we've got a little bayonet, four inch rig, bayonet. We've got a size 12 Guru QM1 on. Right, so that's on there. We've got a Guru 28 gram, is it 28? Yeah, 28 gram method feeder with the EXO system with that bit of black elastic. Black elastic's the heavier one. I'm gonna chuck some pallets in there. I've been, I've just started using this Guru um, method feeder mold. Guru, what are they called, X-Press. I've got the large one, and they're absolutely brilliant, these molds. Um, but that looks good to me. I, I, there's a lot of bait on there. But as I say, the fish aren't gonna be shy today. But I've already clipped down. See, I'm about a couple of foot away. I'm a couple of foot away because, oh, sink the line, sink the line, Jimmy. I've just put some new line on there, actually. I've gone for the Guru six pound, but tighten that up. Yeah, I've got the Guru six pound, um, what's it called, drag line. It's really strong line, but because of these commercial fisheries, we're not casting massive amounts of difference. So I've actually used the, it's 0.25 mil, which is very, very strong diameter, isn't it? Very, very heavy line. But then I thought there's no messing about, you know, because we're chucking them big old method feeders full up with bait around. Um, I want something that sinks really quickly. So um, we will do some more reviews on all these bits and bobs. Um, like line and reels and pellets and oh there we go I think we've got a little little knock already tighten that up a bit there's a little knock it's only been in a minute There's quite an interesting point um, the other day when I was speaking with Eddie Green. Now, Eddie Green um, actually qualified for Fisher Mania in 2015. And I've met him a few years ago. He's doing some sea fishing matches and um, we're gonna get out with him and get some tips because he, he does a lot of open matches, very good angler. And um, we've actually got quite a few different experts um, that we're gonna do videos with. Oh, look, the fish rolling everywhere. So I wasn't going to use the pellet waggler because it was a bit ripply, but it's just calmed down now. So I might even get the pellet waggler out in a minute. Just seen a couple of fish roll. I'm just going to sit on this for another couple of minutes. I'm going to chuck another one out because I think... Let's get some bait out in that bay and see what happens. While I'm doing that, While I'm doing that, I'm gonna ping some eight mils over here where I might fish the bomb. This Guru catapult is another new addition that I've just brought. And um, absolutely brilliant. The last Guru catapult I had was a bit small, but these are really good for pinging the old pellets out. We'll have a look at them in the future. Um, but my accuracy is what was, been, was letting me down instead I started practicing a while ago. So my method feed has got to be spot on all the time. But even catapulting bait in, just in the last week of being out practicing a few times. That, oh, is, we're right by a railway line, so it's pretty noisy. Not the best 
place for recording the sound. Matching a few more pellets there. I'm going to come onto that line in about 15 minutes if I haven't had anything. We're going to chuck this out again in a minute. Now, it's not looking good. 18 minutes in, no fish. You know. <sighs> just don't think that's happening, is it? So let's get the bomb rod out. So the bomb rod, simple setup. We've actually put the same line on as the other rod, that Guru, what's it called? Drag line. Brilliant, so thick. And then I've got, that's actually a three quarter ounce lead. Um, probably something a bit smaller would be better. So we're using, that's actually a, that's a 15 gram lead. We've got it on a pellet waggler um, clip there, which seems to be fine. And then I've got onto a Guru Quick Stop and it's free running. Most things have to be free running, you see, in this match fishing. So that goes up to there. And then we've got 15 inches to um that's a size 12 a size 12 uh guru that's not actually a qm1 but i think i'd rather have a qm1 on there uh to a quick stop so we need our quick stop thingamajigger now i'm actually using only an eight mil pellet so quite a small pellet to a size 12 hook um you could use a much bigger pallet, but I quite like them little 8mm pallets on the bomb. I mean, when I'm specimen fishing, you can catch big old fish on quite small... quite small hooks. I've just trapped that in that bay over there. Let's move that arm around. So we've got a bit of an angle on the old tip. I reckon this is the one that's gonna go, I would suggest. That was a bit short. No good, Jim Bob. It's better. There you go. Oh, missed it. Missed it, missed it, missed it. How did I miss it? Bait looks good. How did I miss that? Sink the line, sink the line, Jimmy, sink the line. Little bit of a bend on the tip. They're there. There's fish there. There's ducks there as well. That's the only problem. Oh, they're on it. Right, we got one. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> I don't think it's very big. Don't feel quite right. I don't know if it's foul hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was foul hooked. Well, we needed that fish. It didn't feel right, that. Pretty sure she has fouled it. Right. First things first, let's get a little bit more bait in out there.
Right. So, it's fish one Neil. Fish one Jimmy Neil. There you go. <laughs> right, it's taken a bit longer than expected, but we seem to have caught a fish. And I was messing about, sorting my bait out, the clutch is set, completely missed the bite. <laughs> It's taken an awful long time. At least this one's hooked. Oh, it's under the rod tip now. Oh. Right, we've got one. Oh. Mirror, lovely mirrors in here. Right in the bottom lip. Barbless hooks, no disgorge needed. Oh, what are we saying? Five pounds? Might give it a quick weigh. It's really important in matches because I don't want to go over the weight limits in any of the nets. About four pounds. Right, so we won't be able to show you the fish when we're actually in the match, but it took a little longer than expected, but we changed to a 12 mil Robin Red. Beautiful fish at Gold Valley. Sometimes in match lakes, the fish get a bit mangled. These are just perfect, look at it. We're putting back happy days. Right, I've just switched over back over to the method feeder. Fish him over there again. Just gone a bit dead since I caught that fish. It's completely killed that little spot I was in with the bomb. Oh, there we go. We've got some line bites on the method straight away. Oh, blimey. <laughs> I just switched to the purple wafter. Got a bite within 30 seconds. Might be a nicer sized fish. Might be. It's 20 past one and it just completely died off. Sort of swam straight towards her. I don't really know if it's ready or not. Oh, it's another mirror. Right. I'm certainly netting them a bit quicker than I was a week ago. Guessing about four pounds. Hooks come out in the net. What are we saying? Four pounds? Gonna weigh it. A bit rough this weighing. Because the landing net handle's on the floor. About three and a half. It's not exactly been a fish frenzy as I thought it could have been, but <laughs> we've got a few on the card. We're putting back. Hopefully, we can have a bit of a run of it in the next hour and a half and get a few more. Well, yep. <sighs> we've caught that. That'd be in the water, seconds. Oh, 
Well, I found some fish. <laughs> it just came straight in. I think all the life's still in it. Four, so that's about three pounds. Um, about three and a half. Oi! <laughs> Beautiful common, again. We're getting back. I mean, I caught that within seconds, so maybe we can have a bit of a run of it now. Cool. Now, that's taken a bit of line, that one. <laughs> oh, it's come off. Oh, that was a, I reckon that was a double figure. Bam! Because that was a big one, that was a double figure. And the current weight is what, about 14 pounds. So that would have taken me up to sort of, um, 25, I reckon. There we go, we're in again. See, I'm nailing the method feeder now. I don't understand why that big one come off, but sometimes it's just how it is, isn't it? Oh, it's a tiny blooming one. Ugh. Ugh. Only about a pound. We'll put that one straight back, it's about a pound, isn't it? Strap keeps coming down my bin brace. Right. Sink the line. Hey, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sink the line. We've gone. Oh. Right. I think it's gone into a snag. Ah, oh, you bugger. Damn it. Snapped off the old method, got snagged up, but I'm just going to um, chuck my bomb over there in the same place, even though it's not actually clipped up. So this could go wrong. That'll do it. Now I really need to set the method back up. Oh, yeah, yep. <laughs> Right, I was trying to set the method up, but we've got another fish. Not a big end. Can't look in the right mesh, got rods and things everywhere here. Yeah. Oh. 
Right, hooks come out. About three pounds. Ah. Gonna cast that straight back out. Three more pound on the clicker. One, two, three, 18. But let's try and get, to, if we can get to 25 in three hours or something. Right. Another one. It doesn't seem to matter because I haven't had time to set the blimmin' method up again, which is obviously an error because I should have had maybe I need two method feeders set up. Oh, it's a ghosty. Ghosty mirror. Oh no, come on. I've missed that up. <laughs> Oh, I nearly lost that one, I think. So, what's that, about four? That one's about four pound. We'll have a look at that one because, ghosty, mirror ghosty. Pretty little fish. But it shows how quick you can build a weight together. Obviously, I'm losing time there. Going to film the fish over by the camera, which I wouldn't normally do in a mat. Well, I wouldn't be doing in a mat, but... And I keep thinking about switching back over to this... this uh, line over here, but if I'm catching a fish or cast over there, then we will stay there. The only problem is without a method feeder, I can't get any blooming bait out there. Going all over the place, this bait. Right, we're calling it a day at 2.30. Got 15 minutes left. I think I'm on 22 pounds. 25 pound in, I'd be happy with. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh no, it's not a better size, it's been in tiny. Maybe the runaround is about two pounds. All right, I ain't got long left. I want one more fish because that's taken me to 24 pounds. <laughs> You've got a skimmer. All right, we just went back to the method feeder that I set up. I had to stop fishing and set the feeder up, which is an error. We had a bream, which is around, I'd say two pounds. There we are. Sort of finishes it off. Skimmer, I guess about two pounds. I just thought I'd have one more go 
I just put a hybrid feeder on ready for Sunday. I thought I had one sort of little, one little hybrid feeder full of pellets left. So I whacked it out. And it could be the biggest fish. It is the biggest fish of the day. I've had nothing that's taken long so far. So no, I thought I had a big one earlier and it's like the bit the smallest. Oh, it's gone in the margins. I don't want it in there. Keep the rod tip down, try and keep getting the fish up. Take my time. Just don't want it. That's a better size one. Right, so uh, last cast, the biggest fish. Oh, about 10 pound. <laughs> there we go. So you get a few of them in a match. It's a game changer, isn't it? Let's put him back. Uh, and I'll work out the final weight. I've got it on the clicker. Not bad for two and a half hours fishing there. <laughs> right, we've finished up for the day. Um, good thing about this syndicate peg. Uh, what peg was I on? I was on 120. Uh, look, my car's behind me. My peg's there, which is always a good thing. No barrow required. Um, yeah, so in a, that big one at the end, it put me to about 36 pound in about two and a half hours. Lost a couple of good sized ones as well. Um, a really important thing to remember is when there's a match on any lake, um, it's a lot harder to catch fish probably 10 times harder to catch fish so i wouldn't have caught all them fish i doubt in a match with all the commotion and bits and bobs going on um i learn well i'm learning every time i go out um but i really could have done with another feeder rod set up so that means i need a pellet waggler two feeder rods and a bomb rod I need to learn how to use a pole properly, really, but we haven't really got time to start experimenting with that now because in two days I've got my first match here. And then on Wednesday, I'm on the Fishermania qualifier at Todba. So, learn a bit, good fun. Give us a subscribe because there's more videos coming uh, and you can follow my match fishing adventures. If you watch all the sea fishing stuff, do not panic. There's still as many sea match fishing videos coming out. In actual fact, we've got the Southern League and Opens again on a Saturday in a couple of weeks' time. It's, um, this is an added on thing, uh, and it's a new adventure. It's going to be good fun. Take care, folks. <laughs>